this day is going to be perfect. The kind of day that I wish when I was small. Every pony gather around. They look lovely in my gown. What they don't know that I fooled them all. This day was going to be perfect. Was the day that I dreamed when I was small. But the hen and every cake, there's no thing to celebrate my wedding birthday. They got great with me at all. I could not wish for a little dress. I partake take in any cake. Bowed will be lying when I say that with any kind of weather, I want us to be together. The truth is, I don't care for him at all. No, I do not love the bloom in my heart. There is no room, but I still want him to be your man. Must escape before it's too late. Must awake to save the day. Oh, I'll be lying if I say I'll be lying and lose him. The one who wants to use him, not carry them, they tear it any stake. For I all of no fulfillment in my heart, he does come soon. Oh, sign in for me, I'll be there very soon. Finally, the moment has arrived for me to be a lucky bride. All the way we will make it feel happy and a big tired of it will be mine. All of mine. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to do that song for a long, long time, actually. It took me months to practice it. Yeah, I'm going to try singing without the lyrics. Because, like, you know, I always do that. But since we're all meant to, like, you know, move and when I sing, I'll be doing that. We work on a few songs. So if any of you want me to uh, sing a song on My Little Pony, just put in a request in the comment section right below where my video is. Now, today I want to talk about the newest episode we just saw about Dungeons and Discord. Well, this was certainly turn of events. It made me laugh because lately some of the Discord episodes have been a pain in the rear. I didn't really like the Discord episodes. Season 3, 1 was good. Season 2, I mean season 4, well, you know I hate that one where he is sick. But the other in season 4 was good. But the ones in 5, oh, they were bad. They make me sick. But in all into the -ness, the one where he got jealous of, you know, of Tree Hugger. <laughs> but then, let me say what I have to say. I think the episode was awesome! I mean, come on! I have never seen that type of episode in a long time. To tell you the truth, the only time I've seen the Dungeon Dragon game was, well, I can't remember it, but I did remember one of my favorite characters playing the game. The only one I know who plays the Dungeon Reference game was, I think, Jake and Finn from card world. It was kind of like it, but instead of with, it just used cards though. I guess that doesn't count. Maybe. Okay, maybe not. But let me say, Discord was a ham when he was trying to get Fluttershy to stay. I mean, Fluttershy would have stayed, but if it was not for Ding Ding, the Yak from Yak Eggerston. I mean, we haven't heard any mention of him since, well, you know, True, in the last episode, I mean, way before the episode about Darren Do, we got mentioned back from the Griffin, so it could be, could be telling us that maybe Gilda's the queen. I'm hoping for that. I'm really hoping for that, because I like Gilda. But I'm back on my off topic here. Now, the episode, well, never imagined Big Mac to have that sort of thing. I mean, never thought that Big Mac was into that sort of thing. And me, well, I was never preppable to that game. That game's kind of, well, not really into it. But I did used to dress up as my favorite superhero when I was a kid. When I was young, like Sailor Moon, Wonder Woman, and um, Rope Girl from Timo Supremo, if any of you remember that cartoon. That was, that was funny when I was a kid. <clears throat> anyway, when seeing Spike trying to be friendly with him and giving him a chance, Discord was not very friendly. He keeps on he listening, but he says, go on, I, I'm listening, I'm listening. That part kind of made me, almost made me choked up a storm. I almost, uh, I almost, uh, let's just say milk almost came out of my nose. The episode was quite interesting. Seeing Big Mac, something else. I mean, the last episode we saw with Big Mac, and it was, I think, was the 
Brotherhood so show and he showed that he wanted to be for their grapple group. But seeing that he's not into working or we've seen his other hobbies were like um singing in the bum 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 ba dum bum 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 ba dum bum you know, since I love the singing, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> so I was very surprised to see him like that he wanted to be a unicorn. I mean, when I saw the dream episode when he helped Luna with the, that with that that dark thing, it's definitely shown that he's not just a fawn pony. He has a pony with interests. And that was very inspiring, actually, the way he acts. Actually, you kind of remember the when I was like that once when I was a kid. But more to Discord. Seeing Discord into jazz, well... And I do believe that they were in Las Pegasus, like Las Vegas. Now, I've always wanted to go to Las Vegas, but never got to growing up around my family. Anyway, I'm a jazz lover myself. I love jazz ever since I was a little kid, too. Jazz music was awesome. Even though my dad was not into jazz music, but I grew up with listening to jazz and all the music. And the zoot suit? The zoot suit. Oh, my God. That brings me some memories. The first time I saw the zoot suit was, well, an episode from Doria. Doria, you know, that show about the girl. And na, 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 na. Her friend Jane met a uh, a fan who was from the, uh, I think, 50s or whatever. That's when I first saw the zoot suit. The zoot suit was kind of funny with this one wearing. So I can pretty much get along that if I ever met him, I would love to play. I would love to listen to some music of jazz. More the episode. Seeing that Spike, since Spike's been with, like, well, Twilight, and, you know, he, he, he always wants to perform magic just like she does, so it makes sense that she, that he would want to be a wizard, and, well, even though Disco wasn't into it, I like the idea of an archer for him, because, well, he has that certain emotion. He knows how to sharp the wit out of anyone, so only a good archer would have that ability, would have that, that technique, that the brawl and strength. I, mm, my dad just came home with some chicken. I kind of like pudgies, but oh, more probably. Sorry about that. So, when we saw that Discord actually got them to the game world, I found it quite fascinating because I have always wanted to be in that world. I've always wanted to be in a real world of magic ever since I was growing up. But sometimes, well, I have the ability to create my own dreams, and I would dream that up for myself. So, I can understand how Spike felt and Big Mac felt. But then, it kind of scared me when Discord was like that. I thought he was going to turn back to evil like he did with Turek from Season 4. Ugh. When I grew up when I grew up in the 90s, I saw the first Turek, and he scared me. And this one scared me more when I saw him. But more of the pack, it was like he was a different Discord. I was getting used to the one with the pranksters and being nice with Fluttershy and all. But then, when he changed that, I mean, come on. For a moment, it was like, it was like a not the disco that we grown to love or grown to love to hate for most of my reviewers out there who don't like it that way. The episode had a lot of imagination ideas, sort of good things. I love imagining everything in my life. When growing up, let's just say I was always alone, so I love imagining that I was in a different world. So seeing Spike like that reminds me of me when I was that age. And Big Mac. Oh, that was awesome. And then my favorite part was when he realized that they were just giving him pity. They were giving a pity party on him. And that made me really sad. Knowing that they did it because knowing that Discord didn't have any friends made me really sad. I went through the same experience too. Let me tell you a story. When I was young, you know, you know that I'm special ed, but it wasn't always hard. It was, was, not, was not easy for me to make friends. Till these two, till there was one person that actually got me into me and lost friends, Sherelle Campbell. Sherelle Campbell was my best friend from New Elementary. I kind of bullied my friend Yasmin. You could say I was the Discord in that group. And Yasmin was Big Mac. And Sherelle Campbell was Spike. So, yeah. Even though I was an idiot back then, but Sherelle gave me a chance. So, thanks to Sherelle and Yasmin Barami out there. If you're watching this, thank you guys. You guys helped me be on the right path. Anyway, I give the episodes seven ruby hearts. And I wanted to bring out more good news about certain things, about my pony OC. Right, Rose? 
I'm still trying to figure out how to get it animated, but I really would like it if someone out there would actually help me with that. I don't have any money, but if anyone has any idea how I can do it, just please come and tell me, please. I really want to animate my character, but I wouldn't know how because, well, you know, I got a mind of a 13-year-old. I don't have that right mind like everyone else does. I can draw my drawing ain't good, but I can do doll make. You know I can doll make, guys. Anyway, that's all I have to say for you folks. This is Anime Raven. Adios, amigo. Bye, bye, boo. Oh, yeah. And if you've noticed this dress for a couple of days, this is her new Italian dress. Isn't it cute? <laughs> mm. He goes.